We showed you how a bike corral was removed in Benson. Well, today local bike riders We showed you how a bike corral was removed in Benson. Well, today local bike riders show their want for the corral to make a comeback. The owner of property says she is very frustrated with the lack of communication from the city. Fox 42 Sydney Holzfaster is live now where the corral used to be. And Sydney, that bike station we understand was the city's only bike corral. That's right, Monty, and public work officials tell me that right here where the corral used to stand near 60th and Maple could hold about 12 bikes at a time, and it's since been converted into parking garage. But, you know, I talked to people that live in the area and different business owners, and even the council person that represents this district, and they all say they had no idea it was being taken out. Today, Greg Lilly finally got his bicycle back after locking it to a bike corral the city workers had orders to remove. I was just trying to do everything I could to try to keep that here and keep the infrastructure of bicycling around Benson. After six years, the bike corral that stood here in Benson is gone. Officials from Public Works say it's being turned back into a parking space. We have an overabundance of bicycle parking in this area that is very underutilized statistically, and we have a severe shortage of automobile parking. Yesterday, after about six hours of stop-and-go construction, the bike rack and Lily's bike were both gone. Councilman Pete Festerson says the project was done without telling the council or any businesses in the area. That's really troubling. I feel we were deceived, and I feel uh, the residents of Benson deserve better. I think we should apologize to the person who had his bike taken to the impound lot. That's not how local government should treat citizens. Fitzer says it cost about $600 to remove the bike corral, but Lily says that's not the best way to spend taxpayers' money. There might be a parking issue here, but taking away uh, 12 bike spots for one car, I, I don't think that's the answer. And Fitzer says the city would need to get substantial data saying that there's a need for more public bike parking in the Benson area before a corral or anything else is put in the area. In Benson, Sydney Holzfaster, Fox 42 News. All right, Sydney. Fox 42 reached out to Mayor Gene Stothert's office for a statement on the bike corral's removal. We did not get a response.